Hey guys, today I'm going to explain the difference between the Briggs Model 25 and the Model 28. Now the Model 25 is 11 horsepower, and the Model 28 is usually a 12 or 12 and a half. This is a 12 and a half. Okay, now I'll tell you a little bit about these two engines. The 12 and a half decided to throw a rod a couple years ago. Let me zoom in here. You can see it, the rod hit the camshaft and broke the bearing out back here. And it busted out the crank cover and broke the camshaft, which is something you don't see too often. Look at that. Broke right off. <laughs> and if you look at the rod bearing, looks like to me it just seized to the crankshaft for some reason. Uh, which don't make sense because it had plenty of oil in it. It didn't smoke, so I know it didn't run low. So, I never could figure that out. <laughs> I guess maybe the it didn't get enough oil or something down in the bearing. So. Anyway, back to comparing the two. Well, I'll explain this one a little bit. This one, the piston and the rings decided to seize to the cylinder wall, to the cylinder for some reason, and scratched it up. Which I imagined it could be honed out and, or bored, put a bigger piston in it, it'd be alright. But that's the thing I don't like about the 11 horsepower, or at least this one anyway. Aluminum, there's, it's not a cast iron sleeve, there's no sleeve. <laughs> but this one has the cast iron sleeve, which lasts a lot better, a lot longer. Now, comparing the two, you can see. The main difference is the 12 and a half has a longer stroke. The block is just a little bit longer. Not a whole lot, about, I'd say probably about a quarter inch or so. And here's the crankshaft out of the two. This one here, this is out of the 11. This is out of the, 20, the uh, 12 horsepower, 12 and a half. And they look the same, but if you look close, you can see that the one on the right just a little bit taller has just a little bit longer stroke now some people's done it you can take the model 25 and put the 28 crankshaft in it and make it a 28 stroker but you have to grind the block out you look on the 12 you see that scoop right there 11 don't have that you'd have to somehow do that and just hope you don't come out on the other side. The block ain't that thick, so you have to be careful doing that. And you'd also have to grind out part of the camshaft and part of the rod to uh, get it all to fit. <laughs> it, it's been done before. And if you got a Model 25 block laying around and just happen to have a 28 crankshaft, it can be made into a 28 cubic inch block engine now here's the two heads the head gaskets are the same because the heads are interchangeable one of the two right here's the one out of the 28 the 12 horsepower you can see how it's cut out and here's the 25 a popular trick on these is to put if you're building a racing engine or just want a little bit more horsepower put the 25 head on the 28 block boost your compression a little bit you can see how it have just a little bit more compression because of the way the head's designed on it that's a little trick here you can do that now the pistons are the same in both of them I think I said that earlier but the pistons are the same because that bore is the exact same size and the rings would be two. So there you have it. That's the difference between the Model 25 and the Model 28 Braves. If you got any questions, feel free to comment or message me, and I'll try to explain it. So. Also, I did try to do this. I put I put it together, and on top dead center, the piston stuck out of the out of the block a good quarter inch. Eighth inch, quarter inch, somewhere in there. So you'd have to work on the head too 
to machine the head a little bit to clearance it. So, well, there you go. If you all need any, if y'all got a question or something, just message me or leave me a comment. See y'all there. Bye. Thanks for watching.